sick impression. All right, we're filming. It's heated and air conditioned, and Scott's done a great job of making sure we have a really nice kitchen set up in the corner. <laughs> and uh, we have these viewing windows to go into the observatory pit, and conduits running underneath to be able to run everything in the observatory pit from computers in the heated and cooled warm room to make it a little bit more comfortable for us. So come on in and see the telescope. Here's our 10-inch Schmidt Cassegrain on a Celestron CGEM mount um, with a Celestron auto guider. And um, it's on an isolated 8-inch pier. It's half-inch thick steel with the pier from pier plates. And it's sitting on about a 1,000-pound dead man buried three or four feet deep down into the ground, uh, which we're probably an extra three feet on top of that from here. We do have uh, full-functioning red light capability on the floor. Spot lights to be able to see if we need it, and orientation lights at the top. But that's not what we're here to see now. This is the roof. It's fully automated, thanks to Scott. Observatory pit that we can isolate from the warm room, room but still have full control and visual capabilities. And don't ever try to weatherproof one of these by yourself. <laughs> Let's go in and I'll show you how we run the scope from the inside. <clears throat> so we've just started learning how to use a program called Cart du Seal, which is a map of the night sky. And it actually uh, helps us find targets. And once we pick out what it is we're trying to shoot, then we can go into our software and ask it to move the telescope to look at whatever it is that our computer happens to be looking at at the time. So we've got full automation between the computer and the scope. We do not have remote automation because that wouldn't be nearly as much fun, because then we'd just stay at home and not get to use our really cool new building. Anyway, we'll uh, have some photos up soon, I hope. We got a couple good stacks last night, and uh, it's our first time shooting on a solid pier, which was a really great experience. Um, and we're off to the next learning curve. Anything else? Signing off. There you go.